we want to reinvent the phone. Now, what's the killer app? The killer app is making calls. It's amazing. It's amazing how hard it is to make calls on most phones. Most people actually dial them every time. Most people don't have very many numbers in their address book. They use their recents as their address book, right? How many of you do that? I bet more than a few. So we want to let you use contacts like never before. You can sync your iPhone with your PC or Mac and bring down all your contacts right into your phone. So you've got everybody's numbers with you at all times. We have something that's going to revolutionize voicemail today. We call it visual voicemail. Wouldn't it be great if you, didn't, if you had six voicemails, if you didn't have to listen to five of them first before you wanted to listen to the sixth? Wouldn't that be great if you had random access voicemail? Well, we've got it. Just like email, you can go directly to the voicemails that interest you. Excellent audio quality. iPhone is a quad band GSM plus Edge phone. We have decided, we've decided to go with the most popular international standard, which is GSM. We're on that bandwagon, headed on that roadmap, and uh, plan to make uh, 3G phones and all sorts of other amazing things in the future. So quad bad GSM plus Edge. And of course, we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 2.0 EDR built in as well. And so this is what it looks like when you get a call. This is what it sounds like. It's one of our ringtones you can pick, of course. So I want to show you four things. I want to show you the phone app, photos, got a calendar, and SMS messaging, the kind of things you would find on a typical phone, but in a very untypical way now. So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's go to our phone first. You see that uh, icon in the lower left-hand corner, the phone? I just push it right here, and boom, I'm in the phone. And I've got five buttons across the bottom. Favorites, recents, contacts, keypad, and voicemail. I'm in contacts right now again. How do I move around my contacts? I just scroll through them. And so let's say I want to make a call to Johnny Ive. I can just push here, and I see Johnny Ive's contacts with all his information, his three phone numbers, his email, whatever else, his address, whatever else I've got, it's all in one place. And if I want to call Johnny, all I do is push his phone number. I'll call his mobile number right now. And now we are calling Johnny here. <coughs> I could turn on a speakerphone like this if I wanted to. Hello, Steve. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? I'm good, how you doing? Well, it's been two and a half years, and I, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to make the first public phone call with iPhone. <laughs> I, I remember when we first started working on this, and it's just, it's just unbelievable. Whoa, whoa, what is this? I've got another call coming in. Johnny, can I put you on hold for a minute? Yeah, sure. Okay. So I put Johnny on hold, and hi, Phil. Oh, Steve, I wanted to be the first call. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Phil. As you can see, it's put, it's put Johnny on hold, and Phil, I can just touch Johnny and bring Johnny back. Hey, Johnny, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, listen, uh, Phil called. Uh, do you mind if I uh, conference him in? I, I guess so. <laughs> you can see the uh, button has changed to merge calls right there in the middle, so I just push that right here, and now I've created a conference call. Johnny, you there? I'm here. Phil, you there? Oh, still hanging on. So here we are. And uh, listen, I've got to get back to my keynote. So uh, if I want to do that, what I'm going to do, I just touch this arrow right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Johnny private here and uh, put Phil on hold. Johnny, do you have anything to say on the first phone call? It's, it's, uh, it's not too shabby, is it? <laughs> it's not too shabby. You take care, Johnny. I'll see you later. And I end this call, and it fills on hold. I take him off a of hold. Phil, thanks very much. I've got to get back to the keynote now. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. All righty.
So, now I've also got a way to make a list of favorites here from my most often called numbers, so I can just touch it once and dial, dial the number. And I might want to add somebody to favorites, so let's say I want to add Phil Schiller, I just push that plus button in the upper right hand corner, right there, and up pop my favorites, and I can just go to uh, the S's here, and there, there's Phil. So uh, Phil Schiller is right there. And uh, I'll put, uh, let's say I want to put Phil's work number. And it's added Phil right there, you can see the favorites. I can edit favorites by pushing the edit button in the upper left hand corner. And I can move Phil up if I want to, you know, maybe to the top. And uh, let's say I'm not going to, you know, talk. Tony's changed his number, I've got to update this anyway, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I could just remove Tony, boom. So there we go, it's that simple to edit these things. Very, very easy. I've got recents right here, which is all my recent phone calls. If I want to see the ones I've missed, which are in red, I can just go up and touch that button at the top, and boom, those are all the ones I've missed. And those are all the calls that I've placed or have gotten. If I want to dial the phone, if I'm real last century, I can push keypad here, and uh, I can dial a call just with, oops, called four, sorry. <laughs> Wrong number. Uh, 408 996 uh, 1010. And it formats the numbers. And uh, if I want to, I can uh, just keep dialing. Let's say it's a European number. And the numbers just keep getting smaller. Real simple. Very simple to dial with a keypad. Now let me show you visual voicemail. This is so cool. This is a collaboration that we've done, uh, which I'll talk more about later. And uh, it allows us to have random access voicemail. Go directly to the voicemails we want. So as an example, I come to my voicemail and I say, oh, there's one by Al Gore. I want to hear that one. I just push it. Hi, Dave, it's Al. Wish I could be there today. I'm here in Nashville training people to give my slideshow. But I wanted to say congratulations on the iPhone. It is unbelievably cool. Good luck with the presentation. Call me later. Now, if I want to call Al back right now, I can just push that call back button. But I want to listen to one from Tim Cook I've got here, so let me listen to Tim. Hi, Steve, it's Tim. I've got the results from last quarter. Revenue was, it, you know, I'll just wait and tell you what I see in person. <laughs> Good luck on the keynote. See you there. Isn't this awesome? And so I've got voicemail, how I want to listen to it, when I want to listen to it, in any order I want to listen to it with visual voicemail. So that is a quick tour of the phone app. Now what I want to do is show you SMS texting. So I just go to that SMS icon in the upper left hand corner and push it. And I not only have SMS texting, but I have multiple sessions. So I can be carrying on conversations with people and every time I get a new message from them I'll be alerted to that and I can go check it out. So as an example here, I've got Eddie Q and I've been carrying on a conversation with Eddie and I just tap this and here's the conversation I've been carrying on right here. Right? And if there's a new message, they'll tell me. So there's a new message from Phil. And uh, let's see, the conversation was what? Hey, Steve. Hi. Still on for dinner tonight? Absolutely. Your turn to pick. I picked Sushi Ron. How about 7 o'clock tonight? And I, say, I can just say, you know, sounds great. And I've got this little keyboard, which is phenomenal. It does error pre uh, prevention and correction. Uh, not that I won't make some. I probably will. But it's actually really fast to type on. It's faster than all these little plastic keyboards on all these smartphones. So I can just say, sounds great. See you there. And I can send that. And there it is. Right? It's that simple. And when Phil messages me back, I'll be alerted, I'll see the dot, and I can just go pick up that conversation where it left off. If I want to send a message to Eddie I, or Scott, I just push this and send a message and go. It's so simple. So that's SMS messaging, and uh, you know, I, again, you've seen the keyboard, it's pretty awesome. We'll come back to that a little bit later. And the third app I want to show you as part of the phone package is Photos. You know, we have a two megapixel camera built in, as I said. But we also have the coolest photo management app uh, ever. Certainly on a mobile device, but I think maybe ever. And uh, so here's, uh, here's our photos. I'm going to go into our photo library. And this is our library. And again, I can just scroll through photos here with my finger. Pretty cool. Let me go to uh, photo album. I'll pick uh, Italy. And I just, uh, let's start at the top. And to go through pictures, I just swipe them. 
I can just swipe through my photo library. Oh, there's one that's, uh, that's landscape. I can just turn my device and take a look at it. Pretty cool, huh? Boom. Right? So I can even swipe when I'm in landscape here. You know? Isn't this awesome? <laughs> the other thing I can do is uh, I can take any of these pictures and uh, I can make them bigger. And uh, so let me go ahead and get the camera back up. Yeah, there it is right there. I can, uh, I can just take my fingers and I can, we call it the pinch. I can bring them closer together or move them further apart to make it bigger or smaller. And so I can just move them further apart and stretch the image. Isn't that cool? And move it around. Isn't that cool? And now, now what I can do is I can uh, pick to uh, make this my uh, wallpaper. And of course I could, you know, jigger it around then and just set the wallpaper. And now, when I, uh, if I'm back at home and I go to sleep, when I wake up from here on out, till I reset it, that's my wallpaper. Whenever I'm making a call, that's what I'm going to see. Boom. There we go. So photos, SMS, and the phone app. That is part of our phone package for iPhone. Get a call. Again, really great call management features. Just scroll through contacts with your finger. All the information at your fingertips here. Favorites, last century, visual voicemail, calendar, SMS texting, incredible photo app, the ability to just take any picture and make it your wallpaper. It's pretty unbelievable. And I think when you have a chance to get your hand on it, you'll agree, we have reinvented the phone. OK. So.